here recently, we have got into the Y drops, got into the liquid nitrogen, the Y drops, and uh, really seen some, some good things. Uh, my name is Scott Kegel from Owensboro, Kentucky, and we grow corn soybeans, we grow wheat occasionally. We used anhydrous. Um, we did, first of all, we, would, we went and we put it all down up front. Uh, then we got to where we were putting part of it up front and then we'd side dress. Um, anhydrous is very dangerous. It's hard to work with. And you know, you worry about, you don't want to get somebody hurt. Well now, we, we tried using the coulter down the middle with the liquid. Um, didn't have the, didn't have really good results with that. Um, and we wound up, we, we sit there, once we decide we're going to wide drops, we bought a unit that had wide drops on it. The most amazing thing I found the first year is about a foot either side, of, or six inches either side of that plant. You know, it would be moist from early in the morning till, you know, two or three o'clock in the afternoon, you'd have moisture right there at that corn plant. And I realized some of that was funneled down moisture from dew and whatever. But I think part of it is the concentration of nitrogen that we put right there at the row. You know, our roots didn't have to travel out as far to, to get moisture. We have seen a bump in yield. The ease of use is off the chart. We're able to go, whenever we do our side dress, we're able to go and we, um, we'll do a plant tissue test. We see what, what that plant needs and then we can add it right in the liquid whenever we, we run the Y drops. It, it makes a big difference. 